Hey guys, Matt from Ultimate City Source. Today, um, as you can tell based on the title, uh, I'm going to show you how to replace the RAM or add more RAM to your iMac. Uh, this applies to many new iMacs also. Uh, not the white iMacs, only the aluminum ones. Let's see, like the one I have right here on the ground. Stand up. Um, so, this is relatively simple. Uh, Try to work on a static free surface. As you can see, I'm going to be very careful on my carpet because I can't carry my iMac downstairs at the moment. Uh, so I'm just going to work like this with something boosting it up So because it's kind of low down. Um, I do have another gig of RAM. Let me grab it off my desk. Okay, guys, as you can see, I've got another gigabyte of uh, RAM that I actually got for Christmas and was in my old laptop. But when I found out it was compatible with my Mac, uh, I thought, why not make it a little bit faster since this iMac is from 07 so it's kind of getting older um, so if you haven't already opened your RAM up just do so um, by the way be very careful guys with touching RAM let me hold it this way don't touch the gold pins you'll break it that way um, I'm apologize for the weird camera angle and stuff like that but it's how it's gotta work I guess um, okay so you can see all you're gonna do is lift up the stand as soon as you've unplugged everything and that flat on a static free surface or just risk damaging your Mac, I don't care. Um, if you don't, if you miss a step of this, all the instructions are carved on the bottom of the stand or in your uh, manual, the Everything Mac manual, I believe, or something like that. Um, then there's a little screw, at least on the new ones, in the center or on the older ones, kind of in the middle. Make sure you have a screwdriver that won't strip the screw, basically, because you want to be able to put that screw back in later. Make sure you're pushing in just a little bit so you're not like stripping the screw. I must like stop the video real quick and I will resume as soon as I get it off. Okay, I'm back guys. Uh, sorry about that vacuum noise in the back. Uh, you can see after some hard work and touching of metal, what you should do, um, or wear an anti-static band, uh, as I'm really worried about doing this actually without a uh, static band. But anyways, you can see I've got it all popped off now. Um, so all you do is like on the old IMAX, there's only two spots. And right here, I already have a piece of RAM. It's covered in dust, by the way. Um, the, and then you pull the tab out if you're going to replace that one, too. Since I'm only installing a new 1 gig one, you just uh, pull the tab out. Let's see. Like that. Um, now, oh, sorry about that again. Uh, be very careful, guys, when you touch this. If there's any static on you, you can uh, permanently damage this thing. Uh, basically, you're screwed. Sorry to say that to any of you who are offended by that, but you are. Um, and let me see. Yeah, tag side. You know what? Let me actually double check in the manual. I'm going to put this back real quick into this. And you can see I've got the little manual right here. Everything. Oh, I don't have it right here. Um, let me look right here on my MacBook as I actually have Apple's website all pulled up. Um, so again, if you need any help with this to be on what I'm showing you, it's all right here on the uh, iMac itself or on Apple's website. And they'll have it based on any Mac that you have. Let me see. Okay, here we are, guys. Um, I just did my research into it. And it looks like the little uh, short separated part of the RAM, the, uh, the gold tabs, goes on the right side so the sticker faces up. Um, and I was just watching actually Soldier Knows Best video because I'd seen his before. And that was one of the videos that really made me confident that I wanted to do this. Um, so go check his out if you want. Uh, just search Soldier Knows Best. But um, he actually showed that there's actually three screws on the newer Max, or at least on the 27 inch. So if you have that, you'll need to screw all, all three off and then back in. Um, I know it's hard to see, but then I'm going to go sticker side up. Let me see. And then what you got to do is you just got to push it in relatively snugly. Let's see. Don't want to push it in where I'm going to break it, but okay. So let's see. Oh, no, I'm sorry, guys. Now that I look at the instructions on 
the bottom of my Mac right here, which I should have done earlier. Short side on the older Macs uh, goes to the left. So if you have a 20 inch or 24 inch Mac, uh, left side for the short part. If you have a 21 inch or a 27 inch, it goes on the right side. So let me just see. Okay, you, you guys have to push it in a little hard, where it almost just doesn't feel like it's going to go in. Uh, mine looks pretty even, so then all you do is you fold the tabs back. Let's see. And then let me get the cover for it to screw it back on. Okay, array of screwdrivers so I can screw this back on. Because I don't remember which one I actually used to take it off. Uh, let me see. So then you're just going to replace the cover back on. Uh, you're just going to put the other one back on. Make sure it's snug in there because you don't want this coming off. Or go get yourself a cookie. Or go to like MacSales.com or Amazon or Kingston or wherever you want to to buy some RAM if you haven't. Let me see. I think this is just about tightened up, it looks like. Yep, okay, it's tightened up. So let me just go, there it is guys, ooh, it's a little, if you weren't doing it like on a shirt or some like an old t-shirt, which you probably should do, on or work on a cloth or something, uh, now would be the time to just wipe it off, kind of, like that, you can see the reflection of the two max, kind of, let me get the power cable from underneath. Okay, lesson learned here. Whenever you do this, guys, uh, always work. Have someone else help you. The mistake I made was telling my dad I was I didn't need his help anymore. Okay, so I'm just gonna push the power plug back in here. It's all secure. If you have a wired keyboard, uh, you'll need that again. Let me just hook this up. I'll hook up all the other peripherals afterwards get this all hooked up quick so I can control the iMac when it starts it because control is good okay so let's turn this thing on and go figure I accidentally clicked uh, stop recording so now it's recording or now it's back up and working that that's a good sign so far uh, let me just cover up my name Oh, cool. Now it says, here, let me see if I can turn. Ah, great. So it's like getting a lot. I don't know if you guys can see it. It says 2 gigs of RAM. If not, I'll do a little picture in picture over it or something. Um, that's it. I'll probably do a review on how much faster it is. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Go check out the first part of this video. Uh, since I know based on length and three parts, this will definitely be a multi-part video. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.